tell, tell us a little bit about Catalyst Fitness. I'm going to just uh, put in there, um, Kathy stresses a lot about um, strength training for women. Um, can yeah. you tell us a little bit about Catalyst Fitness and, and nutrition and about Kathy? Yeah, so Kathy has been into fitness like since I've known her. Uh, but within the past five years, I mean, we watched her transform um, into a body that, you know, we never thought was possible at 50. <laughs> yes. And it was truly an amazing process. And now, since she has found something that worked for her that she didn't think was possible, she is started Catalyst Fitness and Nutrition to help others do the same. So she wants to utilize what she's learned and help other women feel better about themselves, not have such a horrible relationship with food, and feel good in their body again. And tell us how she stresses. She used to be a, um, she used to uh, ride an indoor bike a lot, I believe. She's an instructor. Is that correct? She used to do a spin class yeah, spin instruction. Class. Yeah, yeah. Right. She used to have uh, her own gym. Um, and right before COVID, she ended up ditching all that and got a coach. <laughs> Well, the game changer for her was strength training, right? Correct? Yeah. Strength training for sure. Uh, she always did a lot of cardio. I mean, I've done a lot of cardio. Most of the women I chat with do a lot of cardio. And although cardio is important for your heart, it's not the only thing that you should be doing because how else are you going to maintain the muscle that you already have? And when women get to 40 and their hormones start to change, everyone used to always say, oh, getting old, like that's part of getting old. You lose your muscle, you lose your muscle tone, like it's all gone. And that's just the way it is. And it's not, it's, we just never learned that we needed to keep up with it. And to maintain something, you have to actually strength train to maintain that muscle. Well, I think that's one thing that we forget. And I mean, inevitably, we can't stop the aging process, but there are things we can do to slow it down, at least at least perception wise. Um, and I will say over the last 20 years, and it's partly because I'm getting older, um, you know, it, it seems like the bar of old is, is, is different. It was 40, then it was 50, 60, 70. I mean, we have 70 year old, um, patients that are, you know, they, they exercise routinely. They look great. They have muscle mass. Um, you know, they don't look like your typical 70 year old would look, but they take care of themselves. And, and one of the things you have to do to do that is to strength train sarcopenia and losing, losing lean body mass is, is a real thing. And for women, especially as we age, as, as they age, it gets a lot tougher. So build as much muscle mass as, mass as you can early on to, so you can maintain it. Right. And I, I also think one other thing that we aren't talking about, but it's an advantage of doing the, the muscle training is our bones need to have that weight bearing part too. And when we are, I think by the time we're 30, we have the most bone we're ever going to have. And then we start going on a decline. So Osteoporosis is, is huge there. So even if you, you're afraid about having muscles, you, you ladies really need to make sure your bones are healthy too. And the only way you can do that is by using um, weights because you have to have resistance in order for those bones to be rebuilding and be strong. Not the only way, but well, most cardio, spin bike, spin bike will not build your that's Run, point. Running well. You're, you're not going to get it by by certain exercises. Right. So weight-bearing things must happen in order, I mean, because they're not static. They they change over time. We replace and, you know, we rebuild. And if we're not putting stress on it, it's not going to happen the right. way we need it to happen. Right, exactly. Yeah, for sure. No, osteoporosis is a big one. Um, it comes up a lot in conversation um, when I'm talking to ladies in the group. And 
you don't realize it until it's in your face and yeah, all right. of the things <laughs> all the things that you should have been doing they were like why weren't you doing them and yeah. well, no one told me right right and we can't talk about osteoporosis without talking about the importance of hormones um there's a lot of osteoporosis drugs out there and every single one is indicated for postmenopausal women well what do postmenopausal women lack they lack hormones so it's important to make sure your hormones are balanced so you can have strong, strong bones and do strength training. 